Yo, what's going on guys? I'm celebrity photographer Chris Kavanaugh and today I'm going to show you the before and after on how I color graded the iconic photo of the upcoming reunion tour with Gospel Legends. So right now, let's get into it. Okay, so this was the thought process behind this image. It was kind of a impromptu, even just decision to come out to the church and, you know, take this and also the thought process behind when I saw how we were going to angle this particular look. We had the blue sky in the back. We had the sun at its peak. So we weren't getting warm tones specifically for this image. And I know that I wanted to integrate that into the color grading process afterwards, just to give the image a little bit more character. So I created this Photoshop preset that is called Sunkissed. Now within this, what we went into were different features within the adjustment layers, made movements and changes within that to bring out undertones, to bring out certain aspects and personify certain undertones of colors, even just within the environment in the sky. And I'm going to click this app action real quick and let you see. This one right here is called Sunkiss and it's available for sale on my website. So you simply just click it, it runs through the process, and then it color grades the image. Now this is a beautiful image and how everything came out, but we wanna get a little bit more detail within that. So what I'm going to do now is start bringing the details of, you know, shadows that were lost, you know, within the, the clothing, within the actual face. And how I do that is to go into the object selections panel. We'll click quick selection and I'll start going around and selecting each individual's face. And with this, what it's going to allow me to do, actually what I'll just do is make it even easier. I'll just circle around the face with the object selection. And then I'll go over here to the adjustments layer and simply just brighten it a little bit more. And then what I'm going to do, I'm not going to do this for every individual, but majority like David, man, I'll go around him. Uh, let's start over. We just did Kirk. We'll go in and brighten that up just a little bit. There we go. Perfect. And see how that made a world of a difference just to bring that detail back into the photo. The next thing we'll do is go over to Miss Dorinder. And I want to bring out the detail of the hair and also into the face again as well. So we're just going to select around that. And then we're just going to punch up the brightness. Then what we're going to do is head over to Miss Jackie. And we'll repeat the process. and just keep going and see how that's making a entirely different difference within that. And this is one thing that I want to drop as well, even just within the lighting portion, it does not have to always be precise. But one thing you want to do is use tools like the object selection just to select around the subject and you can always punch in specific areas. And like I said, if you like this color grade that's going on, it's available on sale on my website for five bucks. Head over to the link in my bio and check it out. And then we're just going to do the same on Ty. And you know what? I'm pretty pleased with the results. I think what we're going to do is one more to Israel Holton. Just to bring him out a little bit, especially being that he's in the center. See how that whole thing just adds that little detail within makes the lighting more balanced. So I'm loving what I'm seeing. This looks really, really good. I think zooming in and out is important as well. And from that zoom out, I want to bring out Miss Tamala as well. All right. And there we have it. So here's a quick before of the color grading process. And this is a quick after of the color grading process. And we just enhanced things that were already there. We brought warm tones in. We bought, you know, personified the greenery. We brought shadow and depth within the actual image. If you like this image and if you like the color grading of this particular 
action as well. Head over to the link in the bio. Check it out. Check it out with some of my photography, Photoshop booklets, lighting diagram booklets, giving you the detailed breakdowns on how I accomplish results like this and get these results within my on location and studio workflow. And you know what? Looking at this as well, one thing I'm going to back off with is do another object selection. And I kind of want to do this to the church a little bit on certain aspects of the church. Just on like the steeple and, you know, just want to bring some details out that were lost. And once we select, what we can do is click Q and things that were selected that we don't want to. We can head over to the brush tool and just brush around those things and it will create a selection around it. Perfect. Last thing. And then we can deselect. So what I want to do is enhance the church a little bit as well. Let's see how we did that. And you know what? I'm pretty pleased with these results. And this is how we went from this to this. It changed the entire emotional feel of the image, the entire color grade, the entire lighting. I'm so honored to be a part of this photo shoot. And if you want to see more content like this, head over to my YouTube channel as well. And also stay tuned for more content like this. And we will see you on the next video. I'm out.